Do you struggle to get views on your shorts? Here's how I get a fair amount of views on my shorts. So you want to make sure that you have your recording and you want to make sure you have Premiere installed. And if you have that, you're golden. Okay, so you want to create a new project, type it in whatever name you want. You don't have to click on any of this, you just gotta type a name and then click create. So now you want to drag in your footage. In here I already have all my footage, so I can just scrub through that until I find the video I want. So we're just gonna drag that out on the timeline. We're making it short, so you gotta go to sequence, sequence settings. You gotta change this from 1920 by 1080 to 1080 by 1920. And make sure to set the frame rate to 60 because that's like the best frame rate. So then you just hit OK. So now you have your video in a short size. So you just wanna scale that up so it fits. And now you want to get to cutting up your footage. You can look at the audio right here to see where you're talking or something's happening. Right here you can see I start talking. To get the razor tool you just hit C on your keyboard or you can go over here and click it. So you just want to cut right here, that's where I start talking, and cut here where I stop talking. To go back to your normal cursor you just want to hit V or click right here. And now you can just click that one and hit backspace or delete to delete that clip. And now you have like a black thing, there's nothing on the screen. What you want to do is click right here and hit delete. Now that is called ripple deleting and it just deletes all the black space. Before you actually want to start cutting you might like want to make some audio adjustments. So I'm just gonna set my volume up. And now you just want to go through and cut all your stuff. Now we want to add some cool effects. Subtitles, zooms, and stuff like that. What you're going to want to do, just click T on your keyboard and click on the screen. That makes like a text, you can write anything. If you want to change the font, you see here it says text, you want to click on this arrow. Right here, you can change the font. You gotta make sure you press this one, center align, that's really important. And then you can like change the color, you can have a stroke, and hold control. You can actually put it where you want, but I usually put it in the middle. Go down and find your effect tab. I have placed it right here, but by default it's like right here or something. So you just want to search transform. Distort and this transform right here. You want to apply that to your text. Okay, so now you want to create a keyframe on scale, put that to 70, and you want to go forward three frames, and you want to change this value to 110, and then you want to go forward four frames and set that to 100. Now you have created a pop in effect. Sweet! You have now created your first subtitle. Now you want to get onto the zooms and the other cool effects. If you want to make a cool zoom somewhere, you just gotta find your place where you want the zoom and just follow my steps. So right here, I want to add a zoom. So you just want to search for the transform effect again. And right here when you want this zoom to start, you want to hit scale and make a keyframe. Go forward a few frames to where you want this zoom to end and create another keyframe. On that last keyframe, you want to make the clip bigger. So right here at scale, you want to adjust that with just the numbers or you can drag this number however you want. So I'm just going to make a slight zoom like this. And you can see that it looks pretty stiff right now. It's just a linear zoom. But to make this better, you just want to highlight them. Then hit right click, ease in on both of them and then click again and hit ease out. If you want smooth motion blur with this, you just want to go down the shutter angle and make that 360. So now you have added a smooth zoom. Okay, if you want to make like some smooth transitions, I have some paid transitions from Finsar transitions. But if you're on a budget, I have a solution for you. Go to your browser and search Premiere Composer. It's a free plugin with so many effects that you can use. So download for Windows. Now that you have installed it, go up to Window, Extensions, and then Premiere Composer. And it should show up somewhere on the screen. I have it right here. So you can get many free transitions if you go down to Transitions. You just want to, for example, this one, I'm going to put it 
right here. Okay, now it's sound effects and music. I always have a mouse click sound effect when my text pops up, so here's how to do that. You can like download that mouse click sound effect from YouTube or some other place, I don't know. Now that you have that, I'm gonna put that where my text starts, and I'm gonna alt and drag that, and I put that right here, and I'm gonna put one layer of that on every place there is a new text. And if something funny happens in your video, you can like put some vine booms and stuff. And now you wanna add the music. You can probably hear that the music is very loud. So what you want to do, go to Essential Sound. If you don't have that, click Window and then Essential Sound. Right here, you want to click Music. And then you want to make that balanced background music. So now you can hear that it's a little better. If it's still a little loud, you just want to go here. Set the volume a little down, like minus 10 or 5 or something. And yeah, that's basically a rough short. It's like pretty simple to do. I've gotten like tens of thousands of views this method, so subscribe!